Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prophetic word for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're not yet joining us, what in the world are you waiting for? Come on, come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the information on the screen here and uh, uh, in the description box down below the title of the video, you will find the link. God bless you. Thank you so much to all of you who joined me for the Women of Valor Prayer Conference on Friday. God bless you. I am grateful to all of you, to also our men of valor who join us, those who are leaving comments or chatting and those who are just secretly watching and to those of you who didn't catch that live you can watch the replay on our channel so you can do that after this uh the prophetic word for today god bless you our next women of valor prayer conference will be february 24th at 3 p.m eastern standard time that's the last friday of february at 3 p.m eastern standard time live right here on YouTube. People are joining us from all over the world. If you're in the US, no excuses, except if you're working and you can catch the replay. So I appreciate all of you who may not be able to catch it live, but you are watching the replay. And I pray that you are being blessed as you do so. Your lives will be transformed. You'll be healed, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. And also, um, uh, next week will be our, uh, do, 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 this week. This week, uh, February 3rd, will be our next uh, marriage and relationship book camp prayer meeting live right here at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's Friday, February 3rd at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you there for that as well. God bless you. I have brought you the prophetic word for today. The Lord says it is the dawning of a new day. Ah, and you're soaring to new heights. You are soaring to new heights. It's a new dawn. And this will be a confirmation for someone. It may also serve as a rhema word for some of you. And you will know it by the Spirit of God. Like I always say, if you're in doubt, take it to the Lord. It is a new dawn. It is the dawning of a new day for you. The Lord says, I am bringing my promises to pass over your life. You are sown in tears. You will reap in joy, said the Lord. Your time is now to reap the harvest of your sacrificial labor. I will withhold nothing good from you. You will see and marvel, said the Lord. I am the Lord and I do not relent on my word. I have promised I will never fail to bring it to pass. Fear not, beloved. My spirit is with you, guiding you wherever you go. You won't have to worry about a thing this year. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You won't have to worry about a thing this year. The Lord says you will soar to new heights in me. You will soar to new heights in all your endeavors. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. I am with you, the Lord says, even unto the end of the world. Psalm 84 and verse 11 was one of the places the Lord referenced for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Haya. So the promises of God are sure, but many times there are conditions. Are you walking uprightly? So you need to be thinking about that and then bringing into the word of God. The Amplified says the Lord bestows grace and favor and honor. And the Lord says this year is our year of double honor. Yes, where he has given us double for our trouble. The Lord also uh, referenced Isaiah 55 from verse 8 to 12, Isaiah 40. And verse 31, I'm going to read those quickly. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, make making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth out from my mouth. 
Aya, it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. I love, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm reading Isaiah 40, but I'm starting from verse uh, uh, 27. I'm reading this in the New Living Translation. It says, Oh, Jacob, can you say the Lord does not see your troubles? Oh, Israel, how can you say God ignores your rights? Have you never heard? Yeah. Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Yeah. They will so high on wings like eagles they will run and not be weary they will walk and not faint i love the king james version of that 28 it says as thou not known as thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord. Hiya. They that trust upon him, they that tarry in his presence, shall renew their strength. They that hope in him shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Oh, Father, we are grateful. Thank you for your word. Thank you for causing us to soar into new heights in you and in all areas of our lives. Thank you because it is a new dawn. It is the dawning of a new day, a new season in our lives. And we give you praise. You're such a merciful God. Mm. You're such a faithful God. And we bless your name for your word. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Ha. We give you praise now for having answered. For you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, this word is powerful. You need to sit down and unpack it and read it and prophesy it and pray it over your life until you believe it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, a word that you do not work will not work for you. I've told you over and over and over again. My God, thank you for your word. I love the word of the Lord. God bless you all. If this has blessed you <laughs> as much or more than it has blessed me, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, make sure you like the video to give it momentum on YouTube. And make sure you leave me your comment. Make sure you join us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also look out for prayer therapy session this Wednesday. And don't forget this week is our marriage and relationship boot camp uh prayer meeting live right here on youtube at 3 p.m eastern standard time this friday february 3rd i hope to see you there make sure you join me god bless you have a wonderful and a blessed day.